what's up everybody I'm back with a brand new video remember to subscribe to the channel like the video share the video and also follow me on Instagram Facebook and Twitter okay we are now recording this phone conversation which is he's about to get testimonial okay are you ready to uh, tell me what it is because you seem pretty excited in the text messages last night so uh, go ahead and <laughs> tell everybody out there, and, and this is being viewed on YouTube, so go ahead and say whatever it is you want to say. All right. Well, last, was it last year? Or I think it was November, probably. In November, we were about to do some trade lines for my fiance, and we were so excited. Oh, my God. I did all my research. I stalked this man for, like, eight months. <laughs> all his videos, all the recommendations, everything that he ever put out there. I had done it, and then, and so it was time to put the trade lines on, and then right when we were about to make the deposit into the bank to pay for the trade line, my fiance got flagged for some old back account report that he had. Quite frankly, he didn't even know that he had that much account support. He, he wasn't really sure about what the ramifications were. It was just like, wham, out of nowhere. And I think what happened was, like, um, he... He wasn't using his credit for many years. Everything was paid in cash, whatever. And then he got credit history as of, like, I would say late August or July last year. And then he got a credit card in, like, September. So I think that's what kind of, like, oh, you're back in business now. So they flagged him. So I got his credit all the way up to, like, six, at 67. Um, and it went down to, like, 540. <laughs> like wow. it was gone it, he lost everything that I built and then so I was like oh my god what are we going to do I called Eric I said oh my god he got this flag on his um, uh, credit report Eric was like don't you dare touch the trade line don't go near a trade line nope 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 we got to stop some threat we got to take this off before you even bother with the trade line so, I'm so, what you, so what you're saying is that I I would sell you a trade line, correct? Yep. No, he refused. He said, listen, I'm not even going to take y'all's money. You know, in good conscience, I could never take y'all's money for a trade line, knowing good and well that it's not going to do nothing with a flag to sell support on your credit report. And after you said that, Eric, I Googled, like, can you, like, get credit cards and stuff with, like, a possible uh, flag on your credit all these outlets, Chase Bank, um, Capital One, they will not even come anywhere near you. So forget, you know, it's one thing what Eric is saying, like, you're not getting anything from no banks, nowhere, not even a car loan, because we were going to get the car. None of that was happening with, with a flag for child support on your credit. So Eric said, let's start from scratch. We're going to dispute with, with my people. And I was like, okay. And he said, I'm, I'm going to, what did you say the phrase was? Oh, I'm going to fix your husband so good. And I was like, oh, my God, God is good. And so then, let me ask um, you this. Now, when we when we were talking about it, I mean, how did you actually feel? I mean, because I know, you know, people say one thing. They'll say one thing to me, but they're actually thinking another. You know, they don't want to they don't want to be rude to me and be like, man, I hope this brother ain't a scam. So now did you ever no. any time did you think I was a scam or anything like that? Never, because like I said, I've been following you since like April of last year on YouTube. Now you didn't know about me, but I was following you. Everything you say, I went back and I checked. I follow even your friend CJ the credit preacher. I didn't know who the hell he was. I just whoever got anything to say, I looked it up. So by the time I came to you, I came to you ready, like with a mindset of I know what he's talking about because I at least checked for myself. You know what I mean? And right. I don't know how these people on Google be knowing me looking for trade lines, but anytime I Google trade lines, these random people got my phone number and started calling me. <laughs> I was ignoring me. the phone. It's not me like, that gave it out. No, for real. I was like, what, what, what's happening? I didn't, I didn't leave my number on their website or anything. And then what I started to do was I was like, you know what? I'm not going to ignore these calls. Let me, let me talk to them. And I'm like, what is a trade line? Is this real? Why y'all keep calling me? You know, y'all kind of stick my money, and this really nice guy who was on the phone for like 40 minutes talking to me, and everything he said, I heard it from Eric before. So it's like, you still got to go out there and look for your information. If you don't want to believe, go check. 
See, nobody's forcing you to do anything. Nobody's forcing you to have good credit. Nobody's forcing you to clean your credit. I mean, nobody's forcing you to do anything. At the end of the day, regardless of if you want to put a straight line or not, you're going to pay somebody somewhere. Now, that would be more money on a car payment. That will be a bigger down payment. That will be getting a secured car. It will be whatever. You still got to pay somewhere. So my thing was, I would rather pay one car, you know, and get maximum for my money and then chill. So you don't want to be getting a $300 limit every time you apply for a car just because you have no history. And it's like now you got 15 inquiries because you're trying to get enough credit or whatever. Like, all that stuff, everything that I know, everything, and I mean everything, Eric, I'm not lying to tell you. I swear to God, I learned it from your channel from the very first time I looked at your trade line video. And right. you told me you were going to dispute that child support situation. I thought it would take like four months. It's no lie. Okay, so it was a child support. Let me ask you this. How much was the child support showing on, on the credit? <laughs> it said 15000 something, but it was two. Like, they broke it into half. So one was 18 and one was 15. I don't know why. They had two different dates on it. So I guess one was 2007 and the other was 2010. So I don't know if that is the same thing because it doesn't say. It just... <laughs> says uh, style collect, uh, style support agency, whatever, Albany, New York, whatever, that's where it was, it was back in New York, so now, I was, was like, this, okay. Um, was this on all three credit bureaus? Was it on Equifax, Transunion, and uh, Experian? It was on, it was on Equifax and Experian, not so Transunion. I don't so it wasn't on Transunion. And what was the result? Uh, are they there now? Are, are the child support still on people back nope. and, trans and experience? Nope. Delete it. I, I'm telling you all, I, I sent the letters out December, figure office. I signed up and everything in December. By the time it was all said and done, after we waited for the trade lines and everything went wrong with his uh, child support situation, I waited until, like, December or something. I signed up in December. That's all I know. And then... I, I uh, certified um, the mail so that y'all would get it quicker. And I checked his credit like, I'm not going to lie, it's like the 12th today. I had known this since about the 8th. So, which neither was deleted before the 8th for me to get the letters and open it and see it. So, I would say it was in 30 days for sure that it came off, like 100%. And now, so now we can go ahead now. Get the trade line. Just so you guys really mind. are about to start 2018. You about to start it off with a bang. <laughs> I have a really important question to ask you. Yeah. This is important. And you just give me an honest answer. If you say yes, that's fine. There is no right answer to this question. So here mm -hmm. it goes. Would you refer me to your friends and family? Absolutely. I already got my mom on standby. Would I? Now comes the very last part of this. Do you have anything, you know, anything out there to say to anybody that's sitting on the fences about, you know, coming on board with me for credit repair or trade lines or, or just doing business with me in general? I would say this. Just, uh, just take the plunge and fix your credit. Credit in America is life. And the cool thing about this is, is we're going to do another testimonial video, but this is going to be after your credit is on point. And you go out and do whatever extraordinary things you want to do with your credit, and we're going to do another mm -hmm. video. And I think this video is probably going to be, if you're excited now, you're going to be really excited after you go out and buy that new new car, new house with the picket fence, the doll thing spot. Oh, my <laughs> you know, God. You know, because you guys are on your way now. Wait one second, guys. I want to tell you how you can maximize your ability to get credit cards and loans. You already know too many inquiries can stop you from receiving credit cards and loans. But what if I told you you could have those inquiries removed in three to six weeks? Would that be something you'd be interested in? One inquiry could be worth as much as $20,000. So you can see the importance in having them removed. If you would like to know more information about our inquiry removal service, give us a call at 239-234-3040. And I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out again. Peace.